Hello guys and today I'm going to eat a one day out of date strawberries and cream eclair. Okay, now you'll see here the date is the 16th of July. It's currently the 17th of July. Today there was a leadership debate on TV um, and the um, candidates were asked if any of them would... Um, have Boris Johnson in their cabinet if they were chosen and they're asked to put their hand up if they would and none of them did. I couldn't possibly have known that yesterday, okay? And um, also there's other news We're about somebody called Ricky Bibby who's died and about Marks and Spencer scrapping best before dates on fruit and veg. I don't think I could have known those things um, yesterday. Okay, so anyway, it's only one day out of date now. At the time when I got this, um, there was a juice sticker on it. So normally, this would have cost £2. It was instead £1.36. You get two eclairs, but I got these because uh, I've never seen, I don't think I've seen something like this before. I could be wrong, and probably somebody will find a video that I did from years ago that I'd forgotten about, so I've been truly too lazy um, to actually do it, and also because it's very hot, I don't want to have the computer on for too long, okay? So, you may wonder why I'm looking like this. There's apparently a heat wave, and we've been told that people could theoretically die tomorrow because it's going to be so hot. I know that I've got... Um, you know, someone I talk to occasionally on Skype um, from Croatia tells me it's hot all the time. Every year it's about 40 or something ridiculous, 36 or 40 every year. But it's unheard of in Britain. And apparently it's going to reach about 100 in Britain. And that's generally unheard of over here, generally. It's about 80 at the moment. And 80 is what we used to if it's very, very hot. But it's apparently going to be super hot. So this is why I'm looking like this, okay? Now, I'm going to take one of these eclairs out to show you, okay? Now, I'm going to take it out of the wrapping, okay? There you go. Now, the trouble is they've slightly melted a bit because it, I tried to bring them back as best I could, but also I think one of the reasons why this was cheaper, I think, was because it had smudged the um, case and it didn't look quite so nice um, just because of... Um, no, no, it was probably a leftover one, but essentially, and perhaps people pick ones which look better in simple terms rather than this one. So this is probably why it was leftover and why it was... Anyway, if I, you look carefully, and since it's got these um, white stringy type stripes, and also you'll notice it's got um, a pink... Um, sort of a topping, okay? Now normally, for Neclair, normally it's chocolate coloured. So it's normally chocolate flavoured and it looks like um, brown chocolate usually. Sometimes quite darkish brown, okay? Um, but um, because this is a strawberry and cream one, I don't think I've ever seen one like this because I'm used to the chocolate ones. It looks like this. So I'm going to eat it, okay? There is the other one as well, but it looks like this has become rather smudged. And so a lot of it seems to have gone in the bottom. I'll try and scoop that round a bit. And a lot of it seems to have come off. It also might not have helped as I tried to bring it home in fairly warm weather, and sometimes things get a bit damaged on the way home as I walk when I carry things, okay? I'm putting them in the car or something. So anyway, um, I'm now going to eat the one that I showed you earlier, which has got a lot of it still on. You can see it's pink if you look careful, carefully. And Inside this is going to open up inside, as you can see. Here's just cream on the inside, and there you go. You can see the cream, not hard enough.
It looks like some sort of brown and um, white cream. Um, I think that one brown, or maybe it's just my eyesight, but. Some of it does look brown, so. Okay, it's falling to pieces in my fingers, so. Some of the filling. Um. So, the actual wording on it is it said filled with sumptuous strawberry creme patisserie or patisserie no, I think it's patisserie and cream finished with a delightful strawberry fondant and white chocolate drizzle. And I said, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. Um, obviously, I've seen the um, chocolate version, you know, many, many times. It's very popular over here, where you have, you know, this sort of chocolate. I might even have a video of a chocolate one. I'm too lazy to look. And it's essentially like a sort of donut. It's essentially a sort of large donut with cream in the middle and the topping, you know? And I'm going to discuss some of the ingredients on it. It says um, a cream, pasteurised egg, sugar, Wheat flour. <laughs> Just a minute. <laughs> um. <laughs> White chocolate. Strawberry puree. Vegetable oils. Dextrose. Milk protein. Corn flour. Strawberry concentrate. Dried glucose syrup. Raspberry concentrate, colours, acidity regulator, stabiliser, flavouring, glucose, and a gelling agent. Okay. I've got one left, but as I said, this particular one. Um, have a lot of the strawberry topping very visible. If you look carefully, I'll move it to the other slot. I'll see some of it got stuck in the packaging, some of the pink, okay? Now I've moved it to the other tray, the other cavity, sorry, you know, in the tray. There you go. So that's me eating a strawberries and cream eclair. Okay, and I bought this from Tesco. Okay, and it says suitable for vegetarians. It's got the um, green V, and it also has the traffic light system. It tells you how good or bad the food is for you in particular categories. Um, for example, it's red, which means not so good for you in fat and saturates. It's amber, mean medium for sugars, and it's very low in salt. So it's got green for salt, which means it's very good for you for salt. Because obviously, there's not a lot of salt in something like this, really. I don't think they really bother with salt much in this kind of thing. So, there you go, guys. Strawberry and cream eclair. That's one left, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, sorry. Yes, I actually like it very much. I should have commented on it. Um, how do I... I've often had the... Um, 
chocolate one, not by this particular company. I don't think I've ever had an eclair by this company before. But I don't think I've had anything by this company before, to be completely honest. Um, the delicious dessert company, I don't think I've had anything by them before. Um, yes, it's good. Um, there are probably cheaper alternatives, but as I said, I got this. Um, I got this mostly just to show you guys because I'd never seen a strawberries and cream one before to be honest so I don't think I have I could be wrong either I've never seen one or it was too expensive and I thought I wasn't going to get one but I don't think I've ever seen one before so that's why I got it for you so that you could see guys okay and um, right and yes I do like it I think it's very good and I think it's definitely different to the um, chocolate one I know why they did this because um, Britain is associated with strawberries and cream this time of year. If you go to Wimbledon, for example, which is the um, main British tennis event, um, you know, um, you know, strawberries and cream is associated with Wimbledon. It's served at Wimbledon. I think people pay an arm and a leg there to eat it um, because it's a way of ripping off Surrey and, um, you know, providing a service to rich um spectators and um you know so often we associate with strawberries and cream at this time of year as it's summer and so sometimes you get things like for example i have some out, out of date strawberries and cream um cocoa pops and i'm not joking i've even done a video on that in the past um, which is was a limited edition. I don't know if they brought it back or not. I don't think they have, but I've still got some because they were so rare. Um, and this is a strawberries and cream um, eclair. I'm not sure if they'll still do it in the winter, to be honest, because I know that strawberries and creams are associated with summer over here. Anyway, guys, I won't bore you anymore. Um, I've talked far too long about eating a, an, an eclair. But there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. So yes, I would eat this again at the right price. Okay, at the right price, I would eat again. I have no, nothing bad to say about it at all. It is very good. Obviously, I would have liked it not to be smudged and things like that, but that's probably why it was one left and um, reduced. So that's not, it's not really fair, because sometimes I even have, even have the chocolate ones and they become smudged in packaging like this. So it doesn't matter. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.